we were at an Indian restaurant. Me, Tiramis, Philip, which is a talent. Uh, he was in charge of all the talent and players. Uh, ACCM, Viles, Jordan, Nili, Tiramis. I think that was it. Anyway, we're at an Indian place. We were trying to fi figure out how to order food for, for ACCM because there was no one there. Like, he didn't understand German, obviously. The menu was in full German. We tried to explain to him in English, but he never never really knew what he wanted or if he wanted anything there. So we asked... Uh, uh, we asked... We tried to ask the waiter, like, what, what can we do? What can we give him? What can he have? Turns out, it was actually a coincidence that the guy, waiter, on the other table was from Vietnam, Vietnam and they saw each other when they came out of the of the bedroom and it was like they were best friends it was so cute to watch but yeah it was, it was so, so perfect because we were already kind of getting stressed because we didn't know if we were actually going to be able to get ACCM any food he actually liked from the place but that was really cute uh, other than that, like in the venue itself, it was mostly chill. You were either at the backstage or playing the tournament. They had like bow and arrow, so did some archery as well. Um, I don't know. We were mostly like dead tired after the tournaments, right? So we just found something to eat right around the hotel quickly when we got back and then it was to bed and all the other time we were pretty much busy like they knew each other no they didn't know each other but like the, the coincidence that a vietnamese worker was at the restaurant like that they had the vietnamese waiter was so good for us so we were already panicking on how to get ACM any food because every time we suggested something he was like mm, no 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 that he didn't like it right but obviously the language barrier was a bit difficult to translate food SSM has a wife and three children. I don't think he was looking for Germany, uh, a German girlfriend. He actually got uh, his third child between Red Bull and Dreamhack. He said, <laughs> he, he, when I asked him about it, he was like, yeah, now, now three TZ boom. Because he had a third child. Hmm. SSM is he's the best. <laughs> How was the food? Uh, food was amazing. Food was actually really good. What's my save? Dravidian's Khmer. I want to play bigger man arms in Fuel Age. Whoa, why did my scout turn around? What unique, what unique dish did you try there? Uh, I my go-to Indian dish is always chicken korma. I just love it, and why I tend to order it almost anywhere I go is because the chicken korma is also different anywhere I go. So. I like to go to still order it even at like at every Indian place I go because I think it's it is my favorite Indian rest uh, dish, and it's somewhat different every single restaurant. And I like to experience that. It might be a little bit boring in some regard, but I like it. Are those reindeers? Yes. Yes, they are. Did you have chicken corn with Indian bread naan? Yeah, butter naan. That's my go-to. And uh, mango lassi or mango juice? Mango lassi is uh, lovely.
Just had chicken korma. Lucky you. Is the chicken korma a bit sweet? Yeah, it's like a cream sauce with uh, uh, nut, nuts. Uh, there's one restaurant here in Leipzig where they prepare it with apple as well. And uh, I find it super good. I don't remember the, n the exact exact description, but it's yeah, some kind of cream sauce. It is a little bit sweet, um, but, but it's good. I really like it. Basically, North Indian dishes are either super spicy or a bit mild. If you like cashew-based gravy, try chicken shahi korma. Yeah, I've, I've done that one. That's... Uh, I've, I've done that one. Is that a mining camp? No, it's a house. We prepare chicken korma with milk in our homes. Nice. It's like a perfect elephant archer game. Maybe. Why does he have a barrack? He's Khmer. Why would he make a barrack as Khmer? In this matchup. Someone explain to me how MBL's brain works. Like, I'm never gonna go cavalry. I'm providians. <laughs> So why does he need a barrack? Men are arms? Feels wrong. Yeah, we have to do a bit of a... It has to be like a little bit of a late push. Otherwise, we don't have the farm set up to actually do all the upgrades we need and whatnot. So it is a bit of a delayed... A bit of a delayed one. Let's see. Still not sure what he is up to. Range. True, we can't make a spirits without the barracks, that's true. You should understand what's happening now because I didn't have that many on gold and I only have one archer. So we should understand what's going on. But then again, it's MBL. Let's try this. Next upgrade now is. Fletching on my arms. My arms are so cheap, let's do my arms. Actually, let's do fletching first. Because my arms is cheap. Can food, please? Double range. Time to go skirms. Do I continue production here? Oh. I don't want to eat the town center. 
I think that's still fine because it's idle time for him still. Block him. Good. <laughs> what is wrong with MBL? Who makes this army with Khmer? <laughs> Who plays like this? Who plays this army comp with Khmer? What is happening? Who in their right minds go double range 20 skirms in feudal age? With Khmer! It's Khmer! Mm. You can stay one range. The market. I need to get my timing right here. My, my skirms do fire faster. But he obviously has way more numbers right now. Oh, I didn't know I had that much damage wills in the queue. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can go elephant dodges like this. Maybe I continue make more long swords, maybe. That might actually be the play. Actually, do I even want this closed? I'm not sure if I want this closed. Woodland was always a bit messy there for a bit, but... I need squires. My key here is squires. Funnily enough. Go, go, go. Oh, you don't want me to go to your base, huh? Okay, okay. Did you talk about Dreamhack yet? I'm not sure what you want me to say about Dreamhack. I, have, I made a recap pretty much of every day at the Dreamhack. So, yeah, I did talk about Dreamhack. Because... I had a recap every day. <gasps> oh. What is this? Kinda want to make some elephant to arches here. I think they even make sense. 
Oh, we're getting some solid kills. Live. Oh. Actually, they still live. They both live. They both live. Keep living. Keep living. Keep living. I have so many low HP bills there on this wood line. Uh, let's try to save them. Go there. Tell you guys, long swords. Best unit in the game, besides a lot of others. Get it. Good. Now we can add monks as well. That's a bit sloppy. I have to get a, a safe wood line. That's what we gotta get. <coughs> I guess that will have to do for now. I want to engage both sides at the same time. You can trap this army. Hello. <laughs> I love that my arms are good. I love it. Do a fourth DC. Step lances are very weak, but see, uh, step lances aren't weak. They have a lot of potential in some specific scenarios. I mean, they're not a crazy good unit by any means, but they have, with extra range on melee units, it leaves a lot of room for potential to do things. Do another counter attack with those. Mm, going extra town center is a bit greedy here since he's forward siege. I like it. <gasps> He's shooting me with Christ Christmas trees. Another man arm sneak attack. Let's go. Convert. How did I not get a second conversion? I was converting for an hour. That makes no sense. <laughs> the man on counter attack strikes again. Let's get a man, you know. Is this the next Khmer by P? What do you mean? Mm, too bad we don't have redemption with these. Okay, I don't mind this town center because I don't really want to use this area anymore. I'll just fall back. We had four TCs working for a while anyway. We can... Because we can still force some reactions. 
Oh, I have some moonwalking. Good stare. So, do I drop a castle to save this area or do I care? Oh, we got one. Oh, careful. I'm actually going just for scorpions. But for some reason, my Magna is on shooting. I guess we could have gotten more there. You should jump. I'm building a castle here. What? What's he complaining about? Do I go long swords? I kind of want to go long swords and a roomy swordsman. I don't know why he dotted. <gasps> Insta convert. If only we could get that upgrade in the castle age. The one that ignores armor. That'll make it a pretty cool. See if he notices that I'm attacking from that angle. He didn't! No! <laughs> oh. That's nice. Well, since he has left everything to raid me, I think he feels like he has to. And that's good. For me. On paper. But not unless I kill don't kill his scorpions. <gasps> I didn't kill the scorpions. Oh no. Okay, going long was a mistake. Whoever of you told me to do that, it's your fault. It should still be fine. Another four each. So I slapped him with the Urumis. I would have to go to Imp to make the Urumis have true potential, I believe. 
they're not that good if uh, without that ignore actually they're no they have splash damage right wait they should still be pretty good right let's go with Rumis. i think he might be uh i think he might be going trying to go imp now instead let's make some urumi a raid Side to side. Let's go! Splash damage attack! Let's go! Guys, by the way, I think Rumi Swordsman are a good unit. Just so people know. In my opinion, they're good. No. Oh. Not too bad. One twenty villagers. Found another relic. Guess you have to build another monastery. Yeah, Imperial Edge would still be a potential problem here. If he actually gets to imp. But not too worried still. He's he killed his own. He killed his own uh, Guy there. Okay, where we at? We have almost 40 workers. I think I need to go in. Just get that. Get the elite Urumi stuff. Oh. Ouch. One for one, boom! What? I didn't get him. Okay, let's go straight through. Oh, is that four castle? I want to see that. I want to see a roomy swordsman with splash damage against that. Looks lovely to me. Oh, it's gonna castle there. Should we do this? Um, I am not sure about this move. I will be honest. But I think it's a good one. Cast drop him? Yeah. I think we did the right choice there. My cast will go up. His cast is denied. And I'm ha living happy days. I just need imp. Yeah, you have to cancel it even. That was really good for us. And we still have four relics. That's what might be on top. Oh. Does massacre in village accounts? Yes. <laughs> but I, I also massacred my whole army. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices for the greater good. I still believe I will wreck his cavaliers with my Urumi swordsman. 
when the time is right. Elite Urumi, ignore armor. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Easy game. That is my prediction. I want that. Wow, even splash damage that. Uh, 750 food, there we go. We have 80 farmers. I'm gonna make these bad boys for the rest of the game. I'm kind of excited. I don't really get to use them too much. What if he goes full Scorps? That could have been a problem, yeah, but I would have access to bomber cannons. So at the same time, it's not really a problem. Alright. I'm not sure if MBL knows how good this unit is. I do. Yeah, the Scorpions are shooting Christmas trees. It's a mod or an event uh, thing with the event thing there. Who has a TC here? I'm kind of hyped. I think he's taking Cavalier, yeah. Oh, he will not know what's about to hit him. I don't think he knows how good this unit is. I do not think he knows. He's about to find out. People were like, why you put Rumi Swordsman in S tier on the, my tier list? I'll tell you guys, watch this game. Just give me, give me a second here. Let MBL uh, build up the courage to take a fight. And you will know. Okay, we can just fight here. I hear a lot of horses dying. I think even that was a really sick trade for us. Splash damage though? Yes, sir. Alright, let's fight again. Let's fight, MB. I'm coming. Where's your army? Let's go. I'm ready. Oh, villagers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Why is he not upgrading them, though, to Cavalier? <gasps> Ballista Elephant. He does know the way. Kind of. Another castle? Wait, is he trying to switch to Ballistas? Let's say that's ambitious. <laughs> the cavalry melted. Look at that. Yikes. Should I go Elephant Arches now? My Q is pretty solid for the, with these bad boys. But no, I think we, we stick with... Wait, I ignore armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I do. Uh, we go for the castle. We go for the castle. You will benefit from siege? I have a lot of siege here. 21 units of siege. I wouldn't mind elephant arches as well, don't get me wrong, but I like this unit. They're pretty cool. Oh, I found the last relic. Hello, villagers. Yikes. Wait, I still have a guy. Okay, I'm mind. So good. Hi, uh, YouTube. How did you know? What's the title on YouTube, folks? 
I told you Rumi are S tier. Is that the title? Because I got flamed in my tier list video. Rumi says we are not S tier. Better holes win than we this game. Took all that stone though. It's fine. Ooh. Fine, let's do it. This I don't know though, actually, but this elephants are insane. But we do splash damage on those two. And like he has to group them up so I don't get a proper surround anyway. Kek. They said Urumi are bad. Not clickbait enough. S tier unit, unique unit dominates MBO. Dorian is truly is the infantry revival save. Hmm. What I'm like, okay. Oh, sick. Uh, what I like about Dravidians is that you can actually play long swords and it doesn't feel stupid. <laughs> Would it be okay with certain bonuses for units and formation? Uh, I don't think formation bonuses should be added to this game. I think you can already use formations to take good engagements, but. Um, I don't think they should add like bonus damage or this or that based on formations. Like let's say you have a spear formation, you do more damage but take less damage, or t do more damage but take more damage. I don't think we should add that to the game, no. Chat didn't believe this unit is S tier. Mm, that's a fair one. 